Hi, I'm James, and watch Marvel make me a hero. I'm an actor, writer, and producer. I'm a comedian. I do sketch comedy and improv comedy. What I like to do is sort of just become different people and step into whatever shoes I can. My early memories of Marvel would have to be Saturday morning cartoons, X-Men, Spider-Man. I feel like those cartoons raised me. Whenever I get upset, I just want to scream, Mary Jane! Hulk is really big for me. I'm a very unassuming man. It would just be great if whenever I got angry, I could just turn into a giant creature. Hulk was really big for me, Spider-Man, especially thinking of him as like he's a kid, you know, he's in the big city, he's just trying to make it. And everyone's like, we hate you, Spider-Man. <laughs> I identify with that. Right now I'm reading the Who is Black Panther book, the Reginald Hudlin book, and uh, also Killmonger. Marvel does a great job of representation in the comics and also on the big screen. They have this way of being like, these are our characters, they look like this, they talk like this, they come from this place, and it doesn't have to be a thing. When I first got asked what kind of superhero to make, the person that I landed on, his name is Trip Constant. He can time travel on a whim, just his body is able to do that. He can shape shift. He's also super fast. Physically, he's like a slim kind of person. I want him to feel like wiry. He is black, and that is inspired by myself, but he has that ability to just sort of change. He can look like however, but at the end of the day, his base is black. You know, like when he goes home, he's black at home. Uh, and I think he has like a big, just like a, a big afro. He can shape shift on command, but also like from outside inspiration. So like if he's watching TV, he might like just shift suddenly and he's the character on the TV. I picture he has like a spandexy, movable, breathable suit that is black and purple and it's lined with gold, gold accents. He definitely has goggles. When you're moving at quick speeds or when you're traveling through time, you gotta protect your eyes. Eye protection is very important. Definitely has a headband, and his fro probably, you know, is popping out over the headband. He has some wrist tech. You know, he does all of his computing on that. Also, I feel like he's covered in clocks, just there are clocks everywhere. So the thing about Trip Constant and his time travel abilities is he is trying to fight for truth and to save people, but also he's gonna do what he wants to do, you know? He's gonna see the opening of Star Wars in 1977 in person. He also has the ability to bring things across to different timelines, like a brand new brick that's supposed to go on the pyramid, he just has that. He's chilling with Billie Holiday. He doesn't abide by a set schedule. And if he misses something, he can just just rewind it and let it happen again. Trip Constant is very aware that there are issues with changing the past and different timelines. Trip doesn't have to worry about that. That's somebody else's problem. It might catch up to him, you know, over time, but right now, Trip is just doing, he's going wherever the timeline directs him. He's going with the flow. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Look at the clocks. And they're all at different times, see? Because time is, is relative. His fro is dope, it's tight. Is that a rock? His ability to isolate the shape-shifting is next level. The goggles look dope. The wrist tech is there and it looks like it's active. My man made sure the clocks, got the future clock, the past clock, the 60s clock, you know, just, just for when he's in the 60s. Just to sort of remind him, you know, where he's been and uh, where he's going to. Thanks, Marvel, for making me a hero.